Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial where today we're looking at using Power Query to create a customer's sales summary table or for short just a summary table. So what we want to do we have this um, this fact table here now we're actually only interested in the sales order number the sales and the customer key so we basically want to group the customer key together and get the total sales by customer and then we might want to break that down into the sales orders as well by customer and we can sum the sales that way there are some things that we should consider first naturally before we go into doing things like grouping um, and creating aggregations within power query um, first of all is this as far upstream as we can go in our mock example we'll say yes we'll say we've got something like fragmented sap exports sap exports um, and we need to do it this way we don't have a, a sql database that we could do this in so this is likely as upstream as we can go um and we can you know we can assume that the business would have appetite to have the data um, at this level because naturally by doing this we're reshaping the granularity um, so it could throw our data model off slightly but we've went ahead and did this so we're going to look at how we can actually do this within the power query gui very simply so like i said we've got a sales column we want to group that by the customer key um, and then we we can also look at this by the the sales order level as well. So how do we do that? Well, we can actually go ahead and just duplicate our orders table, our fact table. And what we can do is just call this something like the, um, the customer summary sales table or customer sales summary. We're just creating a summary table essentially. We The business has said that they, they've got appetite to have this in a more concise format at a different level of granularity. So you may think that we have to go in and remove um, unnecessary columns. Well, as we're rolling up data, we don't actually have to do that. We can just within the home ribbon, go to group by, and I would automatically switch over to advanced. So we're going to want to group our data by the customer key. We want to basically sum up the sales per customer. So our new column name, we can just call it customer sales. And the operation wouldn't be count rows, it will be sum. And the column that we want to sum is sales. So that makes sense. We're grouping our data by the customer, the customer key. Um, we create a new column, customer sales. And what that does is it sums up the previous sales column by customer. So there we go. Um, we can play around with this. We can sort it ascending if we like, but you can see that works. Um, it gives us a, a new way to shape our data, a different granularity, um, and it also means that we don't have to remove unnecessary columns either which is quite handy now we can actually add another level to a grouping so again we had the customer key we'll go back into advanced we can add a grouping and we can have sales order numbers so what this will do is group our sales by customer and at the level of the sales order so again if we wanted to actually order our customer key column properly so we can sort ascending from lowest to highest uh, we won't worry about inserting that step there and there you go so you can see by customer one or two or three you have a different amount of sales order numbers and you can see the breakdown um, by that level as well so we've gone down a level we've got slightly finer data so incredibly simple handy with power query if you don't have uh, access to sql to use group by and things and aggregations you can easily do it here as usual if you like this content like comment subscribe and share thank you